Carrie Sherburn, Senior Editor at What They Think, and I'm here with Doug Shart, who is Product Manager at Komori America. Welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. It's great to see you again. Uh, it is nice to see you again as well, yeah. So, you know, now that Komori has really feet in both sides of the pond, so to speak, offset and digital, you've got your you know traditional product line with offset and you're moving into digital with products like the IS-29 and the KM-1 uh, in partnership with, with Konica Minolta. You can maybe answer for our audience the age-old question, what is the crossover point between offset and digital? Yeah, that's, that's a question that is, is often asked and you're probably not gonna like the answer so much because it's somewhat murky. But just to kind of give you the background a little okay. bit. You know, the technology of both these items, since Komori has digital now and sheet fed, and mm -hmm. both of them are high quality, very efficient pieces of equipment, you get to see how each job is gonna fit. Mm -hmm. And not all jobs are the same. Right. You know, some are pretty easy to produce, some are more difficult to produce. And that always is moving things around. But the, just the idea in general that a crossover point is at a certain count. Like, you know, like short run. or 500. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, that if, if I'm here, I should always go digital. Mm -hmm. is, doesn't stand up to the math. Okay. You know, sheet feders are efficient enough that short, short run work is still probably Static work, by the way, is still probably cheaper to be done on a sheet fed. And, and when you say short, short, are you saying 100? Are you saying 150? Are you saying three? <laughs> well, we're the demonstration we're doing in the, at the show today. Um, you know, we're doing a job. We're running 300 sheets. The mm -hmm. job cycle time is about six minutes. Okay. We're doing about 20 sheets away. So in that environment, when you're doing stuff like that crossover point is probably down somewhere less than 10 sheets. So at that oh. point, you should be looking at variable data uh -huh. exclusively as the strength of digital. Mm -hmm. Now, other jobs may, may lend themselves a little bit more. And then, you know, when you think about jobs like, for example, book printing, you know, where you're talking about um, instead of, you know, uh, one sheet, 11 by 17 folded, you know, finished product, right. you're talking about multiple pages in a single product. So how does that impact the whole discussion of whether to do it on offset or Yeah, digital? and that's a, that's a great example of mm -hmm. a product that ought to be looked at closely because mm -hmm. if I'm doing, you know, sheet feds are good for um, lots of up and then a lot of runs. Mm -hmm. um, whereas if I put that on digital, each sheet could have different page counts. So right. in a short run book mm -hmm. environment, mm -hmm. digital, may, that's actually considered a variable run job. I would say that would be very well set on digital. Plus it, then it comes out collated too. Exactly, already, it's so. ready to go. So you yeah. avoid a lot of steps you would have to do in sheet fed. Mm -hmm. Digital definitely has a place, especially mm -hmm. as these machines get higher and higher quality. Mm -hmm. Like the Konica Minolta Komori IS-29, the quality's excellent on that. Yeah. That's gonna change where we put jobs as well. Right, right, so part of uh, what you know printers would struggle with then is you know how do they balance this in their own environment i'm sure you must have some services that you offer that can help them work through this absolutely absolutely there's um, you know right now we're taking a look at a very good strong program that evaluates costs and complete costs of mm -hmm. production in various layouts and whether it should actually go sheet fed digital or whatever other output device you may have okay. on your floor. It uses your numbers, so excellent okay. tool for judging where to go. Terrific, and people can get more information uh, by visiting komori.us. Absolutely, and I would also encourage them to talk to their local Komori representative. You can Terrific. give them a lot more information. Any way they can contact us, we can help them out with that. Terrific. Thank you so much. No, thank you.